day three. There's Helen saying good morning as well. Morning. Morning. Tomorrow's goal for me is to spend less than an hour fiddling about putting the sodding luggage <laughs> on my bike. Christ, if faffing was a Olympic sport, it'd be Steve Redgrave and Mo Farah rolled into one. Ridiculous. And today's mission is A75, A713, up the coast to Gurup, get a ferry to Dunoon, Dunoon to Kladich, and then we're done. And we're off and running. I've got 220 miles before any fuel. Probably do it a little bit before that. I think we want to go to Ardrossan first. Ardrossan? What's in Ardrossan? There's also some Calmac ferries. Some Caledonian MacBrain ferries. Yeah. It's my childhood in a in a in a brand name right there. In a floaty form. Yeah. Caledonian MacBrain ferries, a Calmac ferry. So next stop, Calmac. <laughs> This was one of the bits of our trip I was looking forward to the most. I love this road up to the west coast of Scotland. If you're ever headed up this way, then check out the A712 and A713 from Crockettford up to Ayr. You won't regret it. So you join us in Ardrossan. We have seen a Caledonian MacBrain sign. Terminal. No ferries. Unfortunately, we stopped in Cars Fan. We did stop at a nice cafe. Yeah. And a cake. We stopped on an amazing road. I love that road. The A713 from it links the A75 with the west coast of air. What a glorious road, absolutely perfect for the V-Strom. <laughs> what a great road, you've got to ride that one day. If you get the opportunity, ride that, and if you live near it, lucky you, lucky you. We've started mullering a few more bugs again now. So, bug fest 2023. <laughs> The road north from Ardrossan is pretty straight, thankfully. If there was much to do, then you wouldn't be able to enjoy the view. The sea is so close that I reckon the spray would hit you in the face on a windy day. It also gives Helen the chance to look out into the distance and look for Calmax as we ride along. We were on the way to Guruk to catch a ferry to Dunoon and I knew they were frequent so we had a bit of time to stop and enjoy the views. Helen's love of ferries brought me a whole new meaning to gazing out to sea. I had my fingers crossed she'd spot one of her beloved Calmacs. Every good bike trip involves a ferry but there was a problem here. This ferry isn't a Calmac. Turns out we could have gone a little bit further up the coast and got a Calmac instead. Please don't tell Helen. Fresh off the boat, it was time to get fed. The night's destination didn't do food and we weren't expecting much to be available in the area either. An early dinner here in Danoon would see us through till breakfast. And being British and being beside the seaside, there was only one choice of food to be eating at a time like this.
fish and chips done and what a view to have our fish and chips by. Good fish and chips? <laughs> yeah, it was mega. Yeah? I mean, I've got it everywhere. Well, that's alright, you can have it again later, can't you? So it feels like we're kind of around the corner from where we're stopping tonight, but we've got another hour and a half to do yet. And it's about half past five, so about seven o'clock landing in Cladditch. Ready to go, go, go? Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> We managed to overtake a monstrous agricultural vehicle just before we reached this road, which was a big relief as I wouldn't have wanted this run to be spoiled. There's a more direct way to tonight's destination, but I knew this road and I wanted to ride it again. After this, there was a run around the coast and up to Inverary before turning north for today's final 10 mile run to Cladditch. Hindsight tells me it could well be pronounced Cladic. Oh well. Too late now. There they are, the three kids. Three? Ellen, Hetty, the v -strom. She doesn't have a name. So here they are, we've made it to Cladditch. We're at a really cool B&B and we're on the move. We're going to fly Helen's drone. And up we go. Day four is about to begin. Yesterday, at the start of day three, I said it was my stated aim to reduce the amount of faff. So let's see how we get on with that. Hopefully today, be a little less faff getting ready than yesterday morning. So, ready, on your marks, go. Probably the coolest thing about riding in Scotland is that you can make progress and enjoy the roads and scenery at the same time. In England, A roads are mostly busy and often dull. This run up through Dalmally on the A85 and onto the famed A82 just north of Tindrum was enjoyable and also quiet. We were truly getting up into the highlands now and home seemed a long way back. The weather wasn't exactly spoiling us, but I guess that's all part of the adventure. As the James Bond landscape around Glencoe came into view, I knew Helen's voice would be coming over the intercom very soon to request a photo stop. No problem. Forty miles in and it's the Biker Classic. Apparently that's Black Rock. On our way to Glencoe. What was that I was just saying about quiet roads? Just before this magical section through Rannoch Moor we hit a string of traffic and holiday coaches that we just couldn't get past and it didn't relent until Fort William. Thankfully it eased up as we crossed the River Speen, passed the Commando Memorial and headed north alongside Loch Lochie and into the Great Glen. We turned onto the A87 at Invergarry, pointing the Vistrom and Hornet towards the Kyle of Loch Ausch. This is probably my favourite road in the whole of Britain and it didn't disappoint this time either, even on a gloomy, damp day. Towards the end of this road is Elan Donan Castle, made famous in the 1980s Sean Connery movie Highlander and on countless tins of shortbread. It's a photo stop that every biker coming this way just has to make. Here's the obligatory shot of motorcycle with Island on a castle. Now let's move on. Thank you. 
it seemed a good idea to cross Sky Bridge and get food in Broadford before heading off to our destination in Loch Carron. We got all the way to Broadford in constant rain, then decided we weren't even hungry after all. Time to turn around and go back the way we came. Day four, and we are in Loch Carron. There's the bikes, or the kids, as Helen would call them. So Helen's inside, she's not feeling great. I think the cold has got to her a bit today. So, a quick cup of tea, go and find some food, and then we'll be back out tomorrow morning. See you later.